Hi, in this video we are going to learn about extension method in C sharp. Extension method is one of the most used feature of C sharp. I am Dhananjay Kumar for Geek97. So extension method allows you to add functionalities to an existing class without inheriting it, without recompiling it or without modifying the original type. So let us say that you have a class called product and you need to add a functionality to that class and you don't want to inherit, you do not want to create subtype of that class and let us say that class is in some other DLL in some other library and you do not want to recompile that uh, class just to add certain functionality or in any other way you do not want to modify that original class. In that case you should use extension method to add functionality to the existing type. Let us see extension method in action. For that I have created a console application uh, in .NET Core. You can create that in .NET Framework as well. In the project I am adding a new class and giving it name as product. So here I added a product class and then let's add some properties. Let's say ID then title of the product and last but not least add price. So these are uh, three properties of the product and let us say that there is one uh, method in the class as well and that method is public in nature that returns nothing and we are calling it as print products all right and here we can say console.log this dot id this dot title and this dot price so here I have created a very uh, simple um, um, and it's be console dot right line. So here I have uh, created a very simple class product which has three public properties and one public method. Now we are going to add extension method to this class but before that let us create object of this class and you can create object like this product p1 equal to new product. And here we can pass value for ID, title and price. So here we created one object and we can call print product. Here you see that IntelliSense is showing you that there is one method print products. So call that in the same way uh, let's go ahead and create one more object of type product. Let's give the ID value as 2 and then title and the price and here is price let us say 3000. Alright so here we have created one more object and on this object also we can call uh, that public method which is print products. So here uh, we have created one uh, product class and then we are creating object of that and uh, printing this nothing fancy so far and let's go ahead and run this application and we should get uh, information about P1 and P2 products printed which you can see here 1 pin 2000 2 pencil 3000 all right so so far so good now we need to add let us say a functionality to update price of the product. Now already product class is created, uh, it's in action, it is being used here. Now we have to add a functionalities called update product price. 
and as we talked in the definition that we do not want to uh, modify or inherit or recompile the existing type the existing class so if we go and change anything in this class means we are modifying it and we will have to recompile that to see that in action and we do not want to do that this class is already created compiled and uh, probably unit tested and we do not want to touch this class we do not want to uh, derive another class from this class and then add functionality to that then how we can do that and the solution of that is extension method and to create extension method uh, certain steps you have to follow first create a static class in the same name is in the same name space in that uh, create a static method uh, and that uh, method whatever name you want to give and always uh, that method will have the first parameter as this and the type of on which you want to apply that extension method so for in our case it would be this product because we, we are creating extension method for product so here first uh, let's create a static class so here let's go ahead and add a new class and we'll call this class is as app extension methods and let's say that this class would contain all extension methods make it public and make it static so here we done step one we created a static class in the same name is space next what we need to do uh, now we can start adding extension method to to this class so we'll say public and the static uh, extension method is also a static method and whatever name you want to give so here i'm saying calling it as let's say product price update all right so this is the here we are creating a product price update and let's say that this returns uh, integer so here uh, we have created signature for an extension method now this extension method uh, how this normal method would get converted to extension method by looking at the first parameter the first argument you pass to here and the signature to pass first argument is keyword this and then the type to which you are creating the extension method we are creating extension method for product so we'll pass product here and then p uh, then any variable name you want to give and after that you can give uh, pass any parameters you want to pass here we want to pass uh, let's say price uh, we'll say integer p so that is that is uh, that is the um, here let's say price all right so we are passing the price or original price and then we'll update that now here we can say that uh, p dot let's say price is equal to p dot price and multiply by this price i'm just putting some business logic and then return p dot price so here we are uh, return we are updating that and then uh, returning the price and again you see that uh, only syntax we are following is the first parameter is this with the type and then uh, second parameter onwards you can pass any parameter you wish to pass all right so now uh, we have created this uh, extension method now to use that you do not have to do anything let's go here and say p1 dot and you can see that intellisense is working in the bottom you see that you have this product price update and visual studio is telling you that it is an extension method you see that extension keyword is being added and also there is a down arrow which indicates that's an extension method so we'll say that p1 dot product price and we got to pass the price uh, here uh, so that's like let's say 10 and here we'll say that where updated product one price all right and then you can display that upp1 price and in the same way you can apply this to other object as well so here we have another object upp2 price and let's say p2 dot price update it will work for p2 as well it will work for all the objects and here we are passing 20 
and then printing that. So here we created that uh, extension method and using that now when, when we run this application, we should be able to get expected output. And here you see that we are getting 20,000 and 60,000 after uh, multiplying that. So in this way, uh, you can uh, create uh, extension method. Once again, extension method allows you to add functionalities to an existing class without inheriting it, recompiling it, or modifying it. To create a extension method, create a public static class, then create a public static method. Uh, make sure it's public. And then uh, only thing you need to keep in mind that the first parameter is always starts with this and then the type to which you are creating the extension method. Extension method is very useful. It is useful to extend a type, add functionality without recompiling it. You can even uh, uh, create extension method for .NET classes like string and other classes as well. Uh, so I hope you uh, like this video. This is one of the very important concept you should be knowing about C Thank you so much for watching this video.